we first became interested in looking at outpatient laparoscopic appendectomy for acute appendicitis because we had seen a number of articles from different institutions that showed the feasibility of it. The challenge for us, being from a large public safety net hospital, was could we accomplish this in our environment where patients may not have the uh, easiest way to get back into follow-up if there was an issue, and did they have the social structures at home, for example, to uh, be able to be discharged from the recovery room. So our interest was, could we translate this into a public safety net hospital and realize cost savings for the hospital, which is a huge challenge for us coming from an urban safety net hospital, especially in the resource-limited environment of the Affordable Care Act. During our two-year study period, we kept track of all patients that underwent a laparoscopic appendectomy. During the first year, patients were admitted overnight following their appendectomy for observation, as was our standard baseline practice. During the second year, all patients were eligible for an outpatient appendectomy. Comparing the two groups revealed that there is no difference in postoperative complication, postoperative emergency room visit, or readmissions. However, in the patient population that underwent an outpatient appendectomy, there was obviously a decrease in the length of stay and thus a cost savings. In addition, there was no difference among patient satisfaction among the satisfaction surveys that were dispersed to all the patients. In summary, our study demonstrated that we were able to safely achieve an outpatient laparoscopic appendectomy in those patients that presented with acute, uncomplicated appendicitis. Furthermore, unlike other studies previously published, we demonstrated that patient satisfaction remained the same between our two study arms. We encourage other hospitals and institutions to look at ways to create cost savings, such as outpatient appendectomy in an era of limited resources that we are experiencing today, especially with the Affordable Care Act.